Do you like to play puzzle games where you don't need the brain of Einstein to succeed? Do you prefer the relaxing atmosphere rather than the stress of time limits? Are you looking for some simple puzzle game that your children could start to train their brains with? Welcome to watching Video Gaming Pharaoh's video review of physics-based puzzle game with the ball in the main role called Mindspheres. You will find many interesting levels in the game that can tease your brain a bit but won't boil it. Isn't the game too relaxing that it becomes boring soon? Are the controls user-friendly and accurate enough? Can the game audiovisuals properly support the game atmosphere? And is it a good game for family playing especially with your kids? Let's spend the next few minutes by taking a closer look at Mindspheres to judge its qualities. I usually start with a story, but honestly, what kind of story would you expect from the game where your goal is to amend the track elements to navigate the ball from one end of the screen to the hole on the other end? It would be likely for the Nobel Prize for the literature if someone could make a story out of it. So let's move to the gameplay immediately. Authors present the game as a physics-based puzzle with a mini-golf and pinball unique mashup. This sounds interesting, doesn't it? But in reality you can only adjust the elements on a predefined path between the ball and the hole. Once you are satisfied with the result of your effort, you simply let the ball ride your track, but you have no control over its movement anymore. You cannot affect either the angle or intensity that the ball is thrown on the track with, like in mini-golf, and there are also not any active flippers that one could affect the ball behavior with once it is on the track. So, your only task is to design the track in the way that the ball gets to the hole by using the properly set elements of the track. Now let's take a closer look at what kind of elements we will be setting up. I have already mentioned that the track is pretty fine, so you cannot affect the placement of track elements like in the legendary The Incredible Machine games. Most objects that the track consists of are static, so you cannot manipulate them and the rest can just be rotated. By rotating them you can affect the angle that the ball slides them or bounces of them under. In the first few levels you just rotate one or more platforms that your ball uses to slide down to the hole. This is based on crystal clear mechanics and everybody who knows at least basic laws of physics shouldn't have any problem here. Then come green platforms causing the ball to bounce and you need to rotate them so the ball bounces off them under the right angle to successfully continue on its way to the hole. In the next levels the game combines these two elements together. Sometimes you need to rotate the standard platforms so they navigate the ball to the bouncing one under the right direction and also help to direct the ball bounce while sometimes you need to rotate a series of bouncing platforms to help the ball jump over them to the hole. Some hard set platforms stand in the balls way further but they can open if the ball has enough power to push them. They also work on a rotating principle and sometimes you need to set another rotating platform to the position where it doesn't block its rotation. What other interactive elements are present in the game? There are triangles with three active edges. Blue ones act in the same way as the standard rotating platforms while the green ones make the ball bounce. Which means that the main difference against the common platforms is rather aesthetical than functional. As the last ones comes the red platforms and red triangles. What are they doing? Almost the same as the green ones only with several times stronger effect so if you don't design your track properly they can shoot the ball far away that it never returns. And that's it. I have not seen anything else and I have made it roughly to the 3 fourths of the game. How about the game difficulty and controls? Mindspheres is a rather easy game. The game never gives you many options as most of the track is already predefined and all you can do is to set up a few track elements by their rotation. The worst that can happen to you is that the ball gets stuck somewhere 
or that it's catapulted outside the track to open space. Yes, there is a wide open space outside the labyrinth, most likely to support the game's relaxing atmosphere. If you get to the situation where there is no way out of from, you can just press R key to restart the level or the game itself does it sometimes. There are no lives, no continues, no score, not any other kind of penalization. Even the interactive elements remain in the same position that you set them up to. In most of the levels, it's clear from the very beginning what you need to do, so the only problem might be to correctly estimate the power and direction of the bouncing effect. Which is not a big deal, as you have an unlimited number of attempts to do so. Mind spheres more or less respects the physical laws, and thus it can be really easy for adults, and it is also a suitable game for kids who can design the track properly, even without knowledge of physics, as everything is very intuitive. One can say that there is not any real challenge in the game, and it is right. There are no time limits, scoring systems or online leaderboards where you could compare your stats with the other players. Just pure relaxation. As for the controls, you just need your mouse to control the game and they are accurate most of the time. I just found them a bit clunky when rotating triangles, but it is not a big deal as there is no pressure so you have all time in the world for your every action. I know, I know. Your relatives might disagree with such a phrase. But don't worry. You would need too much time for this game. I have played it for less than one hour so far and made it to the three-fourths of the game. Let's take a close look at the game audio visuals. The game has very simple graphics, just the ball and the tracks objects glowing by various neon-like colors and all of this situated on the black background with the little sparking stars. One can find the game graphics so too simple or schematic, but the color selection actually supports the relaxing game atmosphere in a good way and another plus is that it can be run even on very low end PCs. The music mostly consists of piano tones, which is perfect for relaxing game atmosphere. And the other music tracks reminding me of music that is played on some yoga senses are also good. Sounds are rather generic. There are not many of them and they would make you either excited or disgusted. Ok, let's finalize it now. Is Mind Spheres the right game if you just want to sit and relax while playing the game that makes you think a bit? Let's start with the positives. Easy to learn concept, perfect relaxing atmosphere, quite realistic physics, suitability for kids and casual players and audio visuals that support the relaxing game atmosphere. What are the downsides then? The game is too raw and simplistic, only few game elements that you can set up, absence of any original ideas, lack of a real challenge, clunky control sometimes and dull sounds. Mindspheres cost just 1 euro on Steam, which is a fair price and it's even discounted quite often. And this actually shifts the game to the world to try category. It can be seen from the very beginning that there were not any big ambitions to make the complex puzzle game that will be constantly serving you many original ideas and will squeeze the maximum out of your brain. The author's goal was just to make a small relaxing puzzle game that will be easily accessible for everyone including children. And like this, it can work for a while. Mindspheres is a good game if you start to train a little fella's logical thinking as it won't hurt them too much. And thanks to very short levels and actually short length of the whole game, it won't even manage to become repetitive. I was only missing some real challenges which could be available as the separate game mode and refreshing ideas. Thanks to the small price I can recommend Mindspheres for relaxing family playing and thus I'm giving it thumbs up and Video Gaming Fathers Index 6 out of 10. Still recommend it. Thank you for watching this video review and your thumb up if you have enjoyed it and also subscribing to my Video Gaming Faros channel will be highly appreciated. See you soon!